What's up? It's HiringADrone.com and today I'm going to be doing an unboxing of a new drone that I just received in the mail. It's long overdue. been waiting a while to get it. Uh, but I ordered the WL Toys uh, V303 Seeker. So it just came in. Haven't unboxed it yet. There is a little bit of uh, some weird tape here on the front. I'm not sure what that's from or why it's there. Maybe they were trying to tape the back side here to make sure that it didn't come undone nevertheless it's here looks like it took a little uh, bit of maybe water damage it's been raining so on the box you can see that it's uh, a little faded but um so just to kind of quickly go over what's on it uh outside of the box operating frequency for uh the receiver 2.4 gigahertz high performance camera uh mine does not come with a camera because I got the V303 standard. Um, some of these do come with the camera. Uh, but the ones that I received did not. GPS positioning, remote control distance for more than 500 meters. So we'll put this to the test to see if it really can. Uh, high pressure needle set. Not sure what that is. Radar positioning with return to home. Which will be nice, especially if you do get out to 500 meters. You know, so this way it'll come back. Magnetic, uh, magnetic heading uh, sensor lock function. So I uh, should be able to do headless mode with this. Um, weight on this is 960 grams. Uh, rotation angle, you have your tilt 35 degrees, maximum rise, fall speed three meters per second. Um, this is supposed to be an extremely stable flyer. And it's got the GPS icon on here, automatic return to home, camera, which mine doesn't have, 4.0 gigahertz. I don't see anything else on the box itself in regards to any information. So let's open it up and see what's inside. So it looks like first instruction manuals. Now, when I ordered mine, they did not have any with the U.S. plug, so I got um, an EU plug. It looks like this is a converter for it, so I can convert it over uh, and use it here in the U.S. It looks like this is a handle to pull it out. That sucker was in there nice and tight. Pulled up the box, set it in the background to give us something to look at. So right off the bat, taped into the front here. Um, came with, looks like the charger. Now I was uh, able to pick up an extra battery while waiting. Um, so we also have the plug. I know this is probably a little too close to the camera. Um, we have the actual charger cord, so it looks like I should be able to charge two of them at the same time, which come in handy because I do have a second one. Uh, a spare set of blades, or this could be the only set of blades. It looks like our bag has a camera mount in it. And I believe this one, just on the box, it looks like it fed an SJ4000. I purchased a gimbal, Wakira uh, 2DG, I'm sorry, 2D, uh, three axis gimbal. Uh, so that way I can take some photos with that. I don't know if I'll be using the standard one. Looks like we got a couple Allen wrenches for a Allen wrench. Um, a tool for probably popping off the propellers and a USB cable. For updating the frame wire, firmware, I'm sorry. And then it looks like some sort of power cable. So I'm not sure what this just is at the moment. Uh, this might be for hooking up the gimbal. It does have some power plugs there. So 
That, nevertheless, that's good. Open this up. Inside is the B303 Seeker. Does not look like it's been damaged in the shipping. Comes with this CD. Looks like this thing's been opened already. Um, function instructions. So I guess this is an instruction manual. It's a DVD. And let's pull this sucker out of here. Get the controller out. So I got everything out of the box and taking a look at it, this controller is extremely hefty, which is awesome. So by all means, this feels like a real transmitter, opposed to most of the minis and little ones that I do currently have right now, uh, mid-sized quadcopters, nothing you know this in this category or range. Um, lots of camera functions here, so hopefully this will work well with my uh, gimbal that I purchased, the Wakira um, spring-loaded sticks, so it's supposed to hover uh, when you let off, trim buttons, uh, you got headless mode, turn back to home, on, off, I believe to start the motor sequence, you have to go into opposite corners. Uh, it does have some sort of LCD screen here. I'm not sure if it is backlit uh, so that way you can fly at night. Try to pop this thing off here. Not sure how to open it just yet. Uh, I'm assuming it probably takes four to six double A's. Um, just with the size of this, I mean, this controller's, I got big hands and this thing feels big, feels sturdy. So happy about that. That's super cool. So, um, as far as the seeker goes, this thing feels very sturdy. It's actually pretty heavy. I mean, you know, I have, don't have anything this heavy, that's for sure. Got some lights here on the front. It's got some ex some legs for the landing gear, some pads. I did end up picking up some extra landing gear. Um, those motors on there, these are supposed to be brushless. This thing is heavy, so it looks like it's going to fly very well. Battery bay. Big battery on it as well. Um, I did pick up a spare too, so then that way, you know, I can continue to fly. I believe flight time on this is roughly around 15 minutes. Um, I believe this is self-locking propellers too as well. You do need to pay attention from what I've read online in regards to the propellers because these are spinning in different directions. It's indicated here on the drone itself. Uh, backlight here, this will tell you when you got your, your GPS signal is picked up. I haven't actually flown it so I don't, I'm not sure. Um, but this is supposed to light up green whenever it finds the GPS signal. Super impressed with how sturdy and solid this thing is and the motors on this. Very cool compared to anything that I personally own. So uh, I'm happy with that. So on the bottom here, here's the ports. Um, nothing's hanging out here at the bottom. It does have four holes here so then that way you can hook up your gimbal to it looks like we have a micro USB for updating firmware um, looks like we have plugs here I need this one I believe and this one here for my gimbal so that's good news uh, it's similar to the D, uh, XK detect as far as the bottom goes uh, this looks like a little bit lower grade version of the XK detect but they're almost identical in the way that they look. Um, but this is a good sign here. It doesn't look like I'm gonna have to do much work in order to get that gimbal on there and functioning correctly. So I had heard people had some issues with their firmware uh, upon getting this and they had to update it. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and stay away from that from now. I'm gonna see how it flies. But you know, overall, very, very cool. Super solid, 
feels like a great buy. I picked this thing up on sale roughly around 230 I believe with shipping um, but again it comes with you know controller quadcopter charger cord not sure what's going on there looks like some sort of mold or something who knows it's charger cord charger two holes on there so I do have two different batteries so hopefully I can charge them both at the same time um, Comes with your battery, big one too, so I should be able to get 15 minutes out of this thing. Um, extra spare power cable, USB cord for updating the firmware. You have your your plug. I have a converter here because I need to go in from the EU plug into the US plug so that's nice um, comes with your DVD for instructions on it from what it says on there your standard camera mount so you don't have to have a gimbal to mount your GoPro or your SJ4000 or whatever you have you can use this standard one right here um, propellers four of them doesn't look like I'm getting any spares so I might want to pick some extra ones up just in case something happens you have your, your wrench here. This looks like it's going to be for, you know, taking on and off your propellers. Not sure what the small end does just yet, but I'll figure that out here shortly. Comes with an Allen wrench. You might want to pick up a hex screwdriver. I picked one up myself uh, with four different bits on it. So then that way, you know, working on this will be a little bit easier. And then instruction manual. Looks like one in Chinese, one in English, so I'll be sticking to the English one. But overall, great buy. Super happy it's finally here, and uh, I'll be doing a follow-up video. Me actually flying it. I'm not going to throw the gimbal and the camera on it just yet. I want to get used to it, see how it feels, and then once I do, hopefully I'll be taking some aerial footage with it. So this video helped you out in any way. Definitely give it a thumbs up. Uh, be sure to subscribe to the channel for more upcoming videos, unboxing, flights, and different reviews.